a gorilla. What is Brutus putting up for collateral? Ever, um, ever wanted to punish someone with the sunset flip, the reverse hip drop, or the sleeper hold? Ever wondered about the simple artistry of the spinning toe hold? Or maybe your curiosity stretches no further than imagining just what it's like to stand in front of thousands of people wearing only your father's underpants. 16, 17, 18. If this sounds like you, then for about 3,000 Australian dollars, you can join these hopefuls trying to build a career at the California Professional Wrestling Academy in Sacramento. It's run by this man, Buzz Mad Dog Sawyer. Now, don't be nervous. Although Buzz may look and sound a bit like a psychopath, he is, in fact, a perfectly charming fellow. Perhaps just a touch rough around the edges. Whenever you walk in to the academy and you think you're real tough, well, you just remember, you look in the eyes of the mad dog and the war dogs. When you go to sleep tonight, you remember that I'll be thinking about you. When you reach up, <laughs> close your window. Ow! I might bite your hand off. Hutchinson, are you going to be able to sleep tonight? <laughs> what was he talking about? Of course I was going to be able to sleep tonight, for I had no fear of Buzz Sawyer. After all, I was the nephew of former Australian wrestling great Jimmy the Maniac, better known to his countless fans, more simply, as Mr. Wyfronts. Indeed, it was his size 44s I was proudly wearing as I loosened up with a few manoeuvres of my own before the first lesson. Oh, you the Aussie that give me a call or yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what, what's that you got on? These, these are my uncle's <laughs> famous fighting Y fronts. Your famous what? Y front underwear that he wore with distinction over many years wrestling in Australia. My pedigree had impressed them. I didn't step into the ring immediately. I wanted to see just what my competition was like. Now, any qualms you may have about the legitimacy of professional wrestling as a sport tend to disappear when you begin analysing just what it takes to make a career out. Oh, let's go, Mike. Suck it up. Number one. Buzz Sawyer demands total dedication, gives you no guarantees, but will teach you the ring craft and help you develop the sense of showmanship needed to enter what is a hugely lucrative business. They have to be 100% ready before I'm going to let them go and let them take that first giant step. When people show up and come to practices, they get rewarded. When they don't, they don't get rewarded. And for not getting rewarded, Reed might even get punished. This is Bill a man who made me want to join Amnesty International just to ease his suffering. Bill wants to be a wrestler, but Bill is a bit lazy. Remember, if you want to become a wrestler, make sure you really want to become a wrestler. Among the current class, there are a few beginners like 16-year-old Jason, some early intermediates like Barbara or Panther Pink, as she prefers to be known, and a couple of big boys almost ready for the road. 320 pound Mike Huff and the 270 pounds of Grunt, known as Johnny Payne, soon to become Buzz's tag team partner, are still learning some painful lessons. There is an ever-present risk of serious injury here. Knowing how to limit the damage will extend a career. This is Mad Dog Buzz, sorry, this is stage two. We're going to learn how to hit the ropes properly, and we're going to learn how to try to fall the best that we can, so when we do fall, it doesn't kill us. Let's go, get up! Come on, Josh, suck it up. Let's go. One, two, go. Suck it up. Josh, suck it up. Ready, set, one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. Go. And so I looked on as the class practiced everything from forward rolls to taking turns at throwing Bill around just to improve their confidence. Buzz was having a fine time. 
he's a, a heck of a boss and a heck of a coach. I've been in the Army as well, and uh, he's tough, but that's the kind of coach you have to have in the, in the sport. You have to be tough, and if you ain't going to be, you don't be here. You! You're next! You Aussie! <laughs> yes, the time had arrived to put my uncle's undies to the test. What's your name? Mike. Can you shake hands before you wrestle someone? You want to. Jeff, Mike, can I have? Big black. Big <laughs> Okay, let's break it. The object of wrestling is to stay off your back. Awesome. You gotta stay off. There we go. Oh, here we go, a nice cradle. Oh, oh, I pinned him! I think I pinned him! Well, your shoulders are on the back. You gotta get up. You gotta get up. Look Come over on. there, Mike! It's your mum! Come on, Chris. Squeeze him a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Get off your back. You gotta get off your back. Come on. It's very hot, Buzz. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go. Come on, get off your back! Move back! I was beginning to hate it when Buzz yelled at me. His breath was poisonous. But I didn't hate it as much as wrestling Johnny Payne. Work it, Johnny, work it, come on. I think, I think my lungs are collapsing, David. Okay, break it. Now, as much as I was enjoying the exhibition, particularly the part that my head was being smashed into the canvas, I really thought it was time I stepped out of the limelight after all the others needed to practice more than me. I mean, young Barbara, well, she was just a girl. Hi, Barbara. Um, do you um, do you make the teas around here? You know, for the no, I mean, for the rest of us. No, I mean, newcomers go real. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, break it. <laughs> Good job. Open oh, first. Yeah. That's beautiful. Good job. Barbara, I'll make the tea. And so I rolled triumphantly out of the ring to relax while Buzz took his students through the less physically demanding but equally important stage of learning how to sell themselves. You won a few amateur titles. Big deal. This isn't amateur wrestling. You can go to pick my leg where you can pick my ass. <laughs> well, we know that's not allowed there. I just told you you can't use the word ass or none of that. Okay, next. <laughs> you guys gotta talk. Let's yeah, go. yeah. Uh, and see the blonde bomber shall blow up in your arena. Nothing's gonna stop us. We're big. We're strong. We. Ready? Okay. Oh. What you folks have the privilege of looking at right now is Panther Pink, the future of women's professional wrestling. 115 pounds of muscle and madness, and to my opponent, I always bring sadness. When While the class continued trying to convince us all how frightening they one day hoped to be, I slipped outside to nurse a recurring knee graze. I knew it was serious. It was the same injury which had forced my famous uncle out of the wrestling business. But the truth was, They'd called him a coward, and he left the sport in disgrace, spending his last years as a sewing machine salesman. He was a good one too, but our family had been shamed for long enough. I couldn't let it happen again. Using Bill to practice on, I was determined to once more fill these wife fronts with pride. Buzz was about to get buried. Oh, I'll have you know that my uncle was a very good sewing machine salesman. And these are a very fine pair of underpants. Uh, 